Bitcoin, S-E-O-U-L.org for investors with over 50 Bitcoin in play. Okay, so what's actually happening with Bitcoin and what's going to happen with altcoins? To understand that, you've got to know what's happening in the micro and macro scale and the middle scale, which we'll just call Crow. Okay, here's the basics you got to know. If Bitcoin goes up, it's only going to go up by about 15-20%. That's not much on an altcoin scale. It's only significant to you if you have a large amount of Bitcoin and you just your volume's too big for altcoins anyway. You're not going to fit into altcoins that go up 50%, 200-300%. And even if you did make 300% off $100,000, it wouldn't mean that much to you. Then Bitcoin going up 15-20% is meaningful, right? When Bitcoin goes up, for everybody else that doesn't have that kind of stack that they're playing with, when Bitcoin goes up, all the alts will go down. This is key. This is super, super key important because what people do, they sell their alts to ride Bitcoin just to have the ability to say, hey, I owned Bitcoin when it crossed the $5,000 threshold. And what they'll do is they'll take a 15% loss on a perfectly good alt like Litecoin or like Zcash. And then they'll ride Bitcoin um, up maybe 8% for a, for a negative total of a negative 8% loss. And then they'll try and regain their position in Zcash or Litecoin, which is going to be difficult because by that time, it'll already have appreciated. So you're, you're literally better off either selling your altcoins now or just holding them even if Bitcoin goes up. So that's one point. What if Bitcoin goes down though? What ends up happening? If Bitcoin goes down a little bit or stays flat, altcoins pump. Why? Because people get bored with Bitcoin action if you're into altcoins. It's boring to see 1% or 2% moving a day, 3 or 4% moving every couple days. It's boring. Especially when you have coins like OMG, MTL, uh, you've even got Decred. Fantastic strong coins that are moving at light speed compared to Bitcoin. So what are you going to do? You're going to pull money out of Bitcoin and put it into altcoins. But remember, when Bitcoin goes down or stays fairly even, altcoins do pump unless Bitcoin goes down a lot. Then fear sets in and everybody sells off their Bitcoin. So you have to understand the difference. There's, there's a real gray area, gray area between what's a little bit down and what's a lot down. Okay, so let me quickly summarize what we just said. If Bitcoin goes up a lot, it's not really going to be that much. It's going to be 15 to 20%, right? And your altcoins are going to go down if Bitcoin goes up. If Bitcoin goes down, your altcoins are going to go up unless Bitcoin goes down a lot. Okay, you got that now? So now the question is, is Bitcoin going to go up or is it going to go down? Right now, let's take a look at right now. You've got uh, Peter Brandt himself, the Peter Brandt saying there's a uh, parabola and parabola wins. He's absolutely right. And he pointed out and legitimized and put a Peter Brandt stamp right on the inverse head and shoulders. So you've got two things going in Bitcoin's favor. Fantastic. So are we going to hit $5,000? Remember, if we hit $5,000 on Bitcoin, all your altcoins are going to go down. Even, even Zcash, even Litecoin. Okay, now let's look at historical factors. What do we have on the one week scale? If you look at one week candles, zoom out, zoom out, zoom out, zoom out, zoom out, and you're looking at one week candles, you're seeing four or five, six weeks of RSI that's peaked, RSI that's over 70. What does that mean? That's relative strength index is what RSI stands for. What it means is that people have been overexerting themselves, pushing Bitcoin up. And what happens when you overexert yourself? You end up falling, just like my arm. It's been sitting here for what, three, four, five, uh, four minutes, minus the pauses, up in this position, my relative strength index is going skyrocket right now. It's going off the charts. My relative strength index is probably around 91 or 92. What does that mean? Does that mean I have 91 or 92 strength out of 100? No, it means I've already expent 91 or 92. What it means is that I'm, I'm at red line of, of my strength. So what ends up happening? My arm's gonna get shaky like this, and then my arm's gonna drop, right? The last three or four times Bitcoin had an RSI, weekly RSI, of four or five weeks straight this high, it dropped and it dropped for five, six, seven weeks. We had a huge long bearish period. So what's going to happen now? Actually, before we answer the question, what's going to happen now? Why isn't, isn't Bitcoin piercing the $5,000 mark? Really, really simple. 
It's because people don't have any more money. When Bitcoin hit $3,000, we had tons of new money come into the market, right? When that new money came into the market, we had really low RSI because, hey, it's fresh money. I haven't spent all of it. It's, I'm just giving you a portion of my wallet, portion of my bank account. I haven't even borrowed money from my girlfriend yet. Then when Bitcoin hit $4,000, we should have had more media coverage, but we didn't, didn't we? We didn't have more media coverage. What ended up happening was the same people that jumped into the Bitcoin bandwagon had to use more of their money. They had to use more of their wallet share to push Bitcoin prices up. So from 3,000 to 4,000 to 4,900, what, 60, 70, 80? We didn't get any fresh new capital. So everyone's strength is running out and 